Rain, the gentle patter of water droplets cascading from the sky, is a marvelous natural phenomenon that has fascinated and captivated humans for centuries. Have you ever wondered, how does it actually rain? Well, let's take a journey together into the realm of meteorology and explore the intricacies of this beautiful process. To understand rain, we must first grasp the foundation of the water cycle. The Earth is surrounded by a vast ocean of air known as the atmosphere. Within this atmosphere, there is an abundant supply of water vapor. Water vapor is essentially gaseous water molecules suspended in the air. Now, the process of rain begins when warm air, containing this invisible water vapor, rises into the atmosphere. As the air ascends, it starts to cool down due to various factors such as expansion or contact with cooler air masses. And we all know that when warm air cools down, it loses its ability to hold as much moisture. As the temperature drops, the water molecules begin to condense, coming together to form tiny droplets. Imagine this like tiny specks of water forming on a cold glass of water on a hot summer day. These droplets, now visible to the naked eye, cluster together to create clouds. The formation of clouds is a crucial step in the rainmaking process. These fluffy masses of condensed water vapor are like floating reservoirs, storing an immense amount of moisture. However, for rain to occur, these tiny droplets need to grow larger and heavier. Within the cloud, various microscopic particles, such as dust, pollen, or even pollutants, serve as nuclei for water droplets to collect upon. These particles act as a catalyst for the droplets to merge and grow through a process called coalescence. As the droplets continue to collide and merge, they grow in size and weight. Eventually, they become too heavy for the ascending air currents within the cloud to support, and gravity takes over. This is when raindrops start to fall from the cloud towards the Earth's surface. Now, you may ask, why don't these raindrops evaporate before reaching the ground? That's an excellent question, as raindrops fall through the air, they encounter a warmer, more humid layer near the Earth's surface. This layer helps insulate the raindrops, keeping them from evaporating completely before they reach the ground. The size of raindrops can vary greatly, ranging from small droplets to more substantial, heavy rain. Smaller droplets could form a light drizzle, while larger ones can result in intense showers or even storms. The intensity of the rainfall depends on factors such as the size and speed of the falling raindrops, as well as the dynamics of the weather system. Now, it's important to note that not all clouds lead to rain. Different types of clouds can form, such as fluffy white cumulus clouds or thin, wispy cirrus clouds, but not all of them hold enough moisture or have the right conditions for rain to occur. The presence of specific atmospheric conditions, such as frontal systems or convective processes, is necessary for rain to bless us with its presence. Rain also plays a vital role in replenishing our planet's water supply. As raindrops reach the Earth's surface, they can be absorbed by the ground, replenishing underground water sources. They also flow into rivers, lakes, and oceans, contributing to the global water cycle and supporting ecosystems around the world. So, the next time you witness rain pouring down from the sky, remember the intricate processes that led to that moment. From the initial condensation of water vapor into clouds to the coalescence and growth of droplets, rain is a remarkable display of nature's balance. It inspires awe and appreciation for the interconnectedness of our natural world.